Welcome to the Taxing Subjects Podcast. I'm Ryan Norton. Now, it's filing season, so it goes without saying that time is a premium for tax professionals across the country. That's why it's important to choose tax preparation tools that make your office as efficient as possible. Today, I'm joined by Gruntworks Vice President Julie Pierce, who will explain how tax automation products like Gruntworks will save you time in filing season and beyond. Welcome to the show, Julie. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, it's great to have you on, and I think this is the first time you've been on. Yes, it is. Well, uh, I'm a newbie. I, you're a newbie. <laughs> we're, well, we're going to ask you some questions that I know you have the answers to. Um, you're the expert on Gruntworks, and we can just jump straight into it. Um, I mentioned it in the intro, but tax automation. Uh, some listeners or viewers, if you're watching the video, might not be familiar with that term. It, it is becoming more uh, prevalent in, in literature about tax preparation, but just for those who might not know what it is or might not have a good grasp on tax automation, could you explain what that really is? Sure, definitely. Um, I actually love the fact that automation, bots, uh, all of that is more prevalent in the news today and in, in accounting tools because we've actually been doing this for over 10 years. Mm. So for us, it's not new, but it's great that the accounting world and preparers and accountants are really starting to take hold and use this technology. What it is, is we help automate some of the tasks that are traditionally done by humans. Um, so what in specifically for Gruntworks is we automate the process of preparing the tax return the upfront tax preparation, the data entry, but we also help automate um, the, the paper process. So we're gonna help you go paperless if you haven't done so already. Even if you have gone paperless, we're probably gonna give you a better paperless product um, and really help you go more towards the digital work paper side of things um, and to use technology to really replace some of those tasks that traditionally you would be using people to do. And if you're listening uh, at home and you don't have access to the video, I am using paper and Julie has a digital uh, uh, tablet here for her notes. So she's already ahead of the game on that front too. <laughs> on that front too. Yes. Um, well, okay. Well, that's what tax automation is. Well, I know that Gruntworks has more than one product. So I'm assuming that it, it automates different aspects of the tax preparation business. So could you talk about what organized, populate, and trades are and how those can help tax professionals save time during tax season and beyond tax season? Sure. So our organized product is is that that's the first step in really using automation and using Gruntworks. Uh, what we do is we take the paper and we organize it. Um, but what that means is when you as a tax preparer receive uh, your documents and paperwork, the shoebox per se, mm -hmm. from your customers that come in, it's typically a pile of paper. Um, in today's world, sometimes it can be a portal, which is great. So you're getting the documents in through you know some electronic means. Um, it can even be your clients who are taking pictures of the documents. We see that a whole lot more. Um, so you know they'll you ask for their their documents this time of year so instead of dropping off the you know the the box of papers mm -hmm. um, they deliver via email or portal all of the pictures of the tax documents yeah we can take any of that and what we do is we kind of do if you picture in the tax office what you're probably a lot of the preparers are doing today is we're going to go through and we're going to sort through that list of scan documents pictures emails, all of that. And we're going to sort it into the order of a 1040. So we're going to take and put all of the income together in one section, all of the expenses in another, and we're going to create all of these different categories, take those documents, and we're going to go through and say, oh, this is a back page. Don't need that. Oh, this is a blank page. That can go away. Oh, here's all your organizer pages. Let's put those together. And we create a new PDF file. So we can do this with one file, or if you upload 10 files, we're gonna combine them all into a single PDF, Adobe PDF file, 
in the order. It's going to be the same order every time. And we're also going to create bookmarks. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people say to me, well, what's a bookmark? So the bookmark really is your table of contents is the way I like to think about it. Right. So it allows you to not just get a digital copy of all of these documents, but to be able to then quickly, easily navigate. So it's your navigation tool. So if you're looking for a W-2, you can go right. There'll be a bookmarking structure on the left-hand side, and you'll be able to click on W-2, and it'll take you right to that document. Because what we do is we also label them with the payer information. So you're going to see W-2 dash Starbucks. So that's the Starbucks W-2. Um, when you get to the interest statements, so you might see 1099 and Bank of America. So it's very easy to quickly find, sort through the documents that you're looking for. They're also fully searchable. So you can type in any word and it'll find every document that's been submitted to you with that word. So that's our organized product. So before actually we start doing anything else with the data, we always start with organizing it. If you think about in your tax office, before you start keying in any data, you got to organize the documents. This makes sense. Yeah. So that's organized. So then our populate is on top of organized. So you're going to get the organized output. But then what we're going to do is after we figured out all of the documents that are in there, now remember, we figure that out. You don't tell us. You just scan, send the whole stack in, and then we figure out what's a W-2, what's an interest statement, what's a dividend statement. Once we've done all that, we can then read the data on each form and put it directly into the tax return, populate. That's the data entry piece. So we're going to put all of the data off of that form into your tax return. That would save a lot of time. Yeah, that's that's where the real magic comes into play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we have our trades product, which is optional. Um, so you can use that as you see fit. Uh, we have customers who use it just trades um, or use us for organizing and trades or do all three. They're going to organize and populate. And I'm going to do all my trades through you as well. What trades mean is handling those brokerage statements, those 1099Bs. So we're going to take those and we're going to read all of the trade transactional details, um, put it into an Excel spreadsheet, which then again imports directly into your tax return, puts all of those trade transactions in, saving potentially hours and hours of data entry um, if you're providing trade details on your tax return. Speaking of data entry, um, let's presume that I have a tax office and I have hired staff who not, they don't just prepare the returns, but they're also just entering the data that, that's sent to them. Um, how does that tax office integrate Gruntworks into their workflow? Sure. That's, that, that's a really good question. Um, sometimes, um, especially if you're doing a larger rollout or implementation, this can be an area where sometimes firms get a little hung up. Mm -hmm. um, so number one, we always say it's important that you really look at your overall workflow and figure out the pieces of grunt works that are going to fit in and that make the most sense. Um, one of the things we really uh, are pride about our product and think sort of differentiates us a little bit is we truly are, we've designed it to be more of a plug and play technology. So we are designed to fit into aspects of your workflow that you have in place. So we're not imposing a new workflow on you. We're trying to work within the workflow that you're using in your office, or if you're using this as an opportunity to redefine your workflow. Um, the most important step in the beginning is really figuring out your scanning process. Mm -hmm. So when are you going to do the scanning? Um, and this, if you're using obviously the Populate product with it, you're, you're obviously gonna scan before you do your tax return. Um, we do have some offices, if you're just using Organize, kind of have the option of scanning before you do the return or after. Um, but that's really an important decision is when that scanning is going to take place. And then next is going to be who's doing the scanning or the uploading of the documents. Um, and it doesn't have to be the preparer. So the nice part about using a technology like this is anybody can do the scanning or the uploading. They don't have to know really what those documents are. They don't have to sort them. They don't have to figure out what to send or what not to send. Um, that's what we're doing. 
Yeah. Um, so I've sometimes talked to customers and said, yeah, you know, we're sort of that nephew replacement, right? <laughs> <laughs> or, or it's someone you can get your nephew in and just say, hey, just scan all these documents in and submit them to Gruntworks and they'll take care of the rest. And they don't have to really know anything <laughs> about taxes. Um, so that's really important figuring out. We really recommend, though it makes the most sense if you can, to scan at the beginning of the process. We also recommend to start scanning and submitting your documents as early as possible. There is a peak part of the season, as, as all of our <laughs> customers know. <laughs> if you can get in before that peak, you're going to be ahead of the game. Mm-hmm. Um, so as soon as you start receiving those documents in, we say scan them and submit them because you can then, as late documents come in, you can scan and submit those after the fact. So you don't have to do everything. You don't have to wait till you have them all. Right. Yeah. So, you, you know, it's it's tough if you're coming in that third, fourth week of March. That is the busiest time of the season. So if you can get a head start on that, start submitting your documents, start getting organized. That'll do the initial data entry for you moving into Populate. That's really going to help you and your office save a lot of time and stay organized um, as an office as well. Great. That's a lot of good information about Gruntworks and organized populate trades. Um, Again, let's just assume I'm a tax professional. Um, I've decided to use Gruntworks. Where do I go to set up my account? Sure. So we make it really easy to try our services and to make sure you figure out a workflow that it's going to work for you. Um, So first off, uh, we want you to try it for free and make sure it's gonna work for your office. So very simple, right on our website, uh, right on our main page, gruntworks.com, there's a free trial button. What that's gonna do is we're going to put money into your account to use Gruntworks. So one of the things we haven't really talked about is how do we charge for Gruntworks? So we are, we like to describe it as um, almost like if you use a postal meter or an easy pass in your car toll system, we truly are a pay as you go service. Gotcha. So as you use us, we deduct money from your account um, to process uh, the, the papers coming in. You can decide how much or how little you wanna use us Um, You can use us for that one really big brokerage return that you get from that day trader every year. Um, Or you can implement us as a workflow that you're going to use for every return in your office. You really get to decide how you want to use us. And the pricing is such a way that you're just paying for what you use. Um, So we charge per page, per form, per trade. Um, So it's very simple. It's it's usage-based. Gotcha. Um, so when you get started, we put $40 in your account so that you can try it out for free. That's going to get you on average, you know, in a typical 20, 30 page return. That's going to let you try to organize and populate two or three returns to see if it's going to work for your office, um, how to get it set up, maybe how to start doing some training of your folks. Uh, but it's pretty simple to get up and running. And then after that, you can decide if you want to continue to use to add to your balance. So that money, the free trial money we put in your account and anything you add to your account never expires uh, and never goes away. So if you put some in your account and, you know, extensions are done and you still have some money left over, that's just going to roll over into the following year. Um, And it allows you to, we have a lot of firms that start off with, you know, I'm going to just start off with these types of returns, or they might have multiple offices and say, we're just going to start off with the Dayton, Ohio office. And then over time, as they perfect the process and figure out what's working for them, they can start rolling it out to other offices. But there's no commitments, there's no contracts, Mm -hmm. there's no fees, Um, our training support, all of that's included in what we do. How would I get that training? If, let's say, I've I've signed up, I've got my account set up, where do I go to learn how to use Gruntworks? Sure. We have a lot of great resources online. Uh, So we have uh, both video and uh, digital formats of quick start guides. Mm -hmm. Uh, We also offer webinars every week that you can attend. And there, you know, so our software integrates with different tax software products. So you would sign up for the webinar. That's your tax soft product tax software product that you're using. Um, And we can also do one-on-one demos. 
So there's a request online as well to say, I'd like to set up a demo and you can bring some other people in from your office and we'll set that up and we'll do an online demo with you. Really only takes about 30 minutes for us to walk through how to get started and how to use Gruntworks. So we've, we've talked about the, the setup and you talked about pricing, pay as you go. Where do I go to sign up for Gruntworks? Since you're not like purchasing, it's not like purchasing your tax software or you get the, the, the bundle or whatever and then you install it or you go to your hosted. But where do you go to sign up for Gruntworks then? Sure, so you go to www.gruntworks.com and it's the same process. To get started or signed up, you click on the free trial. That's gonna create your account. That's gonna put money in your account. Um, all of the resources that you need to, to the quick start guides, the videos, the webinars are all available there. And let's say you um, are happy, which is what we hope, and you're going to continue to use us um, to, within your Gruntworks environment. There's a way you just add inventory and then you make that decision of how much and how often you want to keep adding inventory to your account. And it's really that simple um, to get up and running. If I'm not sure, maybe if I can't on the front end figure out just how much I might need for the season. Is there a tool on with Gruntworks to help me kind of calculate out what I might need? Yeah, that's a great question. We actually do have an online calculator on our website that lets you calculate exactly how much it's going to cost because our pricing is very transparent. So you can either figure out how much is this one return I'm about to send in, or you can kind of get a, a look at how much do I think I'm going to spend this tax season? So it lets you enter in how many returns, how many pages, how many types of forms, and it'll give you an estimate of what we think it's going to cost you to use Gruntworks. Um, and the nice part, the why we do our pricing this way is it really we're trying to mirror how a firm charges for a return. Mm -hmm. So if it's a very simple, small return, um, it's truly just going to be a few dollars to run it through Gruntworks. As you get more pages, as you get more forms, as you get larger brokerages, as you increase the complexity, the cost does go up, but also the cost of doing that return goes up. So the success most of our customers have seen in using Gruntworks is being able to tie our fees back into the cost of doing the return. It truly is no different than if you're paying somebody the time to enter the data or organize the data, you're just using using Gruntworks to do that. And that's really, you know, especially right now in today's climate, a lot of our customers are coming to us because they can't find the help to do this work. Right. Um, so in a sense, it really shouldn't, it's not only gonna save you time, in a way Gruntworks can even save you money if you're billing and charging this back in a way that works for your office. You're not paying health insurance for Gruntworks. No, we don't take any vacation days. We don't take any sick days. And, and in season, our service is available seven days a week, 24 hours a day. So you can send those returns in at night, maybe go home and have some dinner, um, and you'd come back in the morning and it would be ready for you to review. All right, so um, before we sign off, um, you mentioned that free trial, and you mentioned where to go get it. But could you, for people maybe who were, um, had this on at work and it's just on the background, just let them know uh, where again to go to sign up for the Gruntworks free trial and get started in this process of getting their account set up and all that so that they can then improve efficiency in their office. Sure. So you go to our gruntworks.com and you'll see right away on the home page there is a free trial orange button. Mm -hmm. You click that, it's just going to ask for your email some basic information, and it's then gonna put the $40 in your account and you're ready to go. The online resources are all there as well, so your quick start guides, your videos to help walk you through, uh, to sign up to watch a webinar, um, or to arrange a, um, you know, a, a, your own demo with one of our sales folks uh, right there. And we have a lot of people signing up now. Sometimes people think it's too late. Um, it isn't, you know, we had, um, last year, customer call us up in March. Hmm. Better to kind of get started now if you can, but yeah. in March, his, his client had walked in with about 350 W2Gs. So very active gambler, <laughs> very active. <laughs> and this, you know, he, this 
this customer is just overwhelmed, didn't know what he was going to do. And he said, I'm just going to have to put him on extension, called us up, said, is there anything you can do to help? And we said, absolutely. You know, let's get you signed up now. Let's get you going, scan those in, submit them to us. And we did, you know, let them know it's, it's a lot of forms. This is what your cost is going to be. Um, and it's 75 cents a form. And uh, he said he had no, he said, you doesn't, it's going to cost me even more to do that. And I'm just going to charge the customer. You know, this is the cost of keying in all these forms. And in the next day, he had all of those into his tax software program. Yeah. So if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence, um, if you have just a situation like that come up, you know, you can use that $40 free trial to, to help you through a difficult situation this tax season. Well, if, if you happen to have someone who comes through the door in March with 300 W2Gs, <laughs> give Gruntworks a call sure. or go on the website. Yeah. Like uh, Julie just told us uh, to sign up for the free trial. Just go to gruntworks.com, enter your email address in that field next to the big orange free trial button, and then get that button to click and get you started. And if you're interested in buying Gruntworks from your tax office, you can just click the Buy Now button on the top of the homepage. All right. Well, Julie, I think I think that's it. We covered everything. We have, yeah. Gruntworks, we're we're quick, cool. <laughs> efficient, efficient. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> efficient in in podcasts and in tax forms. All right. Well, Julie, thank you again for being here. Thank you. Well, I hope to have you back soon. Yeah, we've got some new things coming up. Some new products. We're we'll, excited to talk about. We'll help break that news. Okay. <laughs> all right. And that'll be it for today. Uh, we'll see you all on the next Taxing Subjects podcast.